a couple of shows ago, we took you up to Superior, Wisconsin to show you some fabulous lumber that they're salvaging up there. It's coming out of the Old Globe elevators, which were built in 1887 using about 6 million board feet of eastern yellow pine. The elevator's out of business now, but there's an effort to reclaim and reuse the lumber rather than haul it to a landfill. We thought some of the timbers we saw there would be perfect for the decorative trusses being planned for the great room here. So we've been working with timber framer Ben Miller on plans for those. We're going to need them before we start setting trusses over the great room. So Dean took a trip to Alexandria, Minnesota to see how those are coming along. Well, the wood looks absolutely gorgeous. Dewey said she's going to be sending us down some nice looking stuff. Yeah, we've been very pleased with what we've had to work with so far. Well, I'm standing here with Ben Miller. This is where we're going to be doing our decorative timber frame trusses for the great room, all four of them. And uh, so you got the plan, you're all set with that. Yeah, Dean, actually what we did is we took the hand-drawn 3D truss run that you sent over to us for a concept. Remember it well. <laughs> and, yeah, you, know, you can obviously tell you put some time into it. Yeah. And then we worked with the uh, conventional truss manufacturer to get all the dimensions for the room that we'd be needing, just to make sure we had our angles correct, our spans correct, so that we could design something that would fit perfectly inside of okay. the trusses they're providing. And with that, we ended up generating this dimension drawing just to give you your timber sizing and, and general spacing. So this is the exact thing you guys work off of, right down to the eighth of an inch? Yes, this is exactly what the guys are working off of here in the shop. Okay, all right. So and then, then the, general, the general concept with the right. 3D drawing is going to end up looking exactly like this. Very nice. Oh, that, that's, those are going to be gorgeous. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. So with all the wood in the house here, how, how do you get started on the whole thing? Well, what we'll end up doing is once the material comes to us, you know, on this project, it, was, it came to us rough sawn. Mm -hmm. We chose to go with a smooth sawn finish. Yep. So we'll bring the material in, let the material acclimate, and then set it up at one of our planing stations. Where a couple of the guys will set up with 12 inch hand planers to make everything square, smooth, and true. And that's quite the planer he's operating over there. Yeah, you know, given the size of material that, that we're used to working with, we need to have tools that are going to, you know, fit appropriately. So once everything's planed and square, what's the next step? Then we're over to Silas in the layout area. So Silas, what's involved in the layout process? What do you do over here? I get the uh, square timbers to come in and I lay them all out. Right now I'm laying out struts here and all the tenons, mortises, when the pieces leave my site, they're ready to cut. So, so you're the one that takes a look at what we have in timbers and then tries to lay out all the parts so that we don't run short. Yep. And I adjust for any width differences in any of the pieces, measure all that, count for all that. So doing those mortise and tendons, is, is that kind of difficult, measuring all those and marking them out? No, it takes time. You just make sure you count for everything, all the different widths and stuff you got. How about curves? Do you mark all that stuff yep. here? Curves are all laid out here. Everything's laid out. So bottom line, all the measuring happens here. Yep. Once it goes out to the individual stations? They check the pieces and make sure they're correct and cut them. So, so they say you, you measure twice, cut once. You're, you're doing the measuring twice yep. here. Yeah, okay. All right, well, good enough. Okay. So, Micah, once uh, Silas has everything all laid out and measured, and hopefully measured it right, um, how, do you, how do you go about cutting out a tenon? Um, first of all, we start out by measuring everything to make sure everything's laid out properly. And then we'll uh, start first by our, our top cut here, which we cut with our large 16-inch uh, circular saw or 7.5. Um, depending on the depth of the cut. Okay. And then we'll flip it to the side and then do our drop cut with our big circular saw, the 16 inch. And then that, that will leave us this tenon and then we'll clean it up with a chisel and a hand plane and a, just make it all square and ready to fit. So describe the process of making that mortise. I mean taking a, a square a square hole through a big piece of wood like that. It's easy to do a round one, not so easy to do a square one. Yeah, well we have a chain mortiser that it's kind of like a three three prong chainsaw that we they plunge down into the, into the wood and make a nice square hole, a rectangular hole. And is there anything you have to do to polish that up or is that pretty much ready to go when, when you Yeah, done? we clean it up with a chisel just to make sure all the edges are sharp and clean so that we don't bump it with the tenons when we're, we're fitting everything and putting it together. Yeah. So then making those long swooping curves a whole other piece of equipment again, right? Yep, we use a portable bandsaw for that. So we'll, we'll, we'll follow our line with a cut. And it's just like a regular bandsaw with a 32 inch blade, I think, is what we end up running. And then we can just hold that by hand and trace that line, so. Now, does it take a long time to feel like you're accomplished on some of these tools? I mean, do they start you out on, on the little small pieces of wood and do you work yourself up or how, how does that all work? Yeah, we'll start off with the, the easier pieces to cut. Uh, some of our struts and our braces are the more simple pieces to cut that get fully housed, so there's 
nothing exposed. And then, uh, especially with these portable band saws, it's it's a little trick to, to run them. So take some training, follow that curve. Otherwise, you have to start with a whole new piece if you miss cut. So yeah, I mean, you you don't want to be destroying too many of these pieces. No, anymore. no. No. Yeah. So it sounds like you're coming out next Thursday then? Yep. Is that okay? Well, yep. well good luck. We'll see you then. Thank Thanks, you. Micah. The, the majority of the projects that we do, we'll, we'll start working with the homeowner, the general contractor, for the conception of the design, the engineering of the timber work, and, and actually design and develop for them a structural timber frame that's a structural part of their home. But you also do a few of these decorative trusses every now and again, right? Yeah, every year we'll do a handful of projects like this. Okay. So next Thursday, then, you're thinking you guys will load everything up and come on out to the site? Yeah, we'll be down there.